Who's, who's not getting employee of the month? <laughs> so far, Brian is still ahead in the cameraman challenge. Casey and Eric are still sawing logs. Mine's this and yours. Casey, would you like to explain yourself? About what? Why you, why you decided to... Um, I just quit the team, dude. Quit the team? Are you dude, trying out for special? The team is pretty, like, broad. Uh, guys, welcome. Uh, you, we, we've already we, ensured we, this we, video. No, I'm welcoming them to my part of the video. Welcome, guys. Oh. These guys absolutely... Big shooter, huh? So, you're leaving the team, and you're starting your own video. Uh, so, yesterday, you guys kicked me out of the team. Put me on, put me in the corner. They put baby in the corner yesterday. I haven't recovered from that yet. What are you they they about? were basically like, "We're gonna go stalk this giant buck. You just go up on the hill and just do whatever you want up there. Like, just stay out of our way, mostly." And I think that really came from Cody. And I'm a little, my feelings are kind of hurt. <laughs> Casey, would you like to take take over to his video? Yes, I do. And this is where the torch gets passed. Gladly. Hey guys, when the footage really takes a tanker, you can blame him, okay? Not happening, guys. Not happening. I'm gonna start with B-roll right now. Boot shot. Boot shot. Glassing shot. Dude, glassing shot. I'm glassing shot. I'm gonna... Guys, I think your this. hair hasn't got the appropriate attention it needs on this hunt yet. And that's some what people, today is gonna be about. Some people are trying to call this a bullet, but the reality is it's long everywhere, <sighs> and uh, there's no rhyme or reason why. I don't have a purpose behind it. The lady that used to cut my hair quit. I've never looked for a new one, and it's been several months, so. so. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. We hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's a little bit different. We've switched roles. Camera guys are shooters. Shooters are camera guys. Uh, one of the other guys that has Martin and Eric right now just uh, called and said, there's a jummy. And a jummy, according to Big Chino, is short for jumbo. There's a large deer just over this hill. We're gonna go put eyes on him. And me and Logan are gonna go put a stock on. Logan, are you feeling it today? I just, I just had a pre-deployment. <laughs> Logan just lost an arrow out of the quiver. Day four, box on the floor. Gonna open a door. Say bye to the seashore. We're in the mountains, the hills. We're here to kills. down so we could be quiet and ready to go with whatever happens.
see if we can make a move on him. How's he like? That's a smaller one. So we kind of came into this blind. We saw the deer for a little bit and it was kind of a race. So the big buck that Martin was on that blew out earlier, we were way down this fence line and that buck was following does. And it was basically a game of how fast and how quiet can you be in order to intercept them before they jump the fence on the private. And unfortunately we just couldn't make it to them. So after that, there was another group of the okay buck that Casey saw earlier. He's a good buck, I shouldn't say okay buck, he's a great buck was over in this northwest corner, kind of milling around by the fence, and me and Casey started heading that way. But they just jumped the fence as well, so we're kind of out of play where we're at right now. Me and Casey are just gonna slowly work our way back up. Well, that was fun, playing a little cat and mouse in the cedars. To chase rutting mule deer in country like this is, it's just so hard to see once you get down to their level. Trying to pick them out in the cedars we did a couple times early, we had them probably like 100 and 120 yards in front of us just see like a leg or two going through the cedars but we were just literally running around this cedar patch and they were always one step ahead of us yeah that seemed to be the the whole story today three giant bucks i guess up here one had extras don't know if they got any footage of that but the big four point was pretty cool that we were on at first light um, just like eric said just one step ahead of us so now we are stepping all the way up to those rocks, way up there. And we're gonna go check out some ancient Indian stuff, I guess. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, come with us. To the rocks we go. Those ones. Today was a fun day. Say, I think that's the most action we've had so far this trip. Certainly seen the most amount of rutting behavior. Got a ton of cool phone scope footage. Saw a couple of deer sparring and battling, but they were one step ahead of us before they hopped the fence over to private, so neither Martin or Logan could intercept them in time. So I think we're gonna go meet up with the fellas, and uh, I think we might go check out some Native American historical markers around the area. So we'll, uh, we'll bring you along and show you what we find, but a lot of fun out here. Weather's beautiful today too. It's been fun. We've made it to the petroglyphs. Uh, looks pretty cool. Yeah, big old cliffs. Probably a lot of Indian stuff right here. What do you guys know about this place? Much? Not a lot, man. Just a bunch of cool drawings on rocks. So, uh. yeah. So there's all kinds of them hidden up and throughout here, but this is kind of the best place to see a lot of them and drive right up to it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just a cool piece of history. Like all this stuff is, is like real, huh? The real oh, deal. Yeah. I'd either count something. There's a lot of people with their own heads up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. What does it mean? I was hoping there would be like a deer. And then he's like, this might be a good spot to hunt deer. What do we got here, Logie Bear? It's a really cool area. Um, there's some ruins. I don't right. know if these are fresh. Check those out. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. What does it mean? That's pretty cool how that cactus is growing up. Yeah. <laughs> I about did a back bend over that rock ledge. Cool place. This is a view from up here. Oh look, we got squirrel. Oh, here we go. There's some more over here. Man, I wonder how old these are. There's some there. And over there. That's pretty cool. Peanut yeah, butter and jelly half sea. Yeah. Lunch time. Nice, dude. How about these guys? What are you munching on? I got some Ritz cheese crackers. Dude, he's got a good sandwich. Yeah, nice. Put some mayo in there and then you put a little Fritos in there for the crunch, you know? Especially in this country, but man, that's why it's so fun. It's such a challenge. 